Hi, Tom Varsey, Military Embedded Systems. I'm at the MOSA Summit in National Harbor, just across from Washington, D.C. 2024, I'm with Michelle from Wind River. How are you, Michelle? I'm doing great, Tom. Thank you. Great. So Michelle has co-authored a very interesting white paper on TSN. Um, why don't you tell us about the uh, this white paper because it's incredible. There's a lot of great information, and I really want to know what was the driving force behind uh, the white paper getting out there. That's a good question. So when TSN is time-sensitive networking, for those who don't know, and it's a technology that's aiming at allowing real-time application really to do network, to talk over the network. What we've noticed is TSN as a standard is evolving and there's a lot of confusion around the market. There's a lot of things that are done. Some are in flux, some are being decided. And so we saw there was a little bit of a, of a vacuum as to what is it I can pick and choose from these sets of standards that I know that will de-risk my development if things were to change in the future. And so we decided to reach out to some of our experts and collectively try to parse the standard and highlight the portions that are going to give you a very solid foundation should you decide to embark in a t on your TSM journey. Yeah, you got to think that some of the industries that this in involved in would be automotive, military. What are some of the other industries that uh, for TSM? Actually, all of the above, yes. Uh, obviously, automotive, uh, but also industrial applications. Think about manufacturing, process automation, robotics. Uh, we also see in medical, you can have a different sets of systems doing surgery and the communication obviously between the interface for the, the, the medical staff and the actual device needs to be very accurate and time sensitive. So it is a standard that will apply across all industries, at least that Winterver is serving in general, as well as the partners which were the, uh, the paper with us. Yeah, and I got to think that all the engineers at this show would be certainly interested in reading this white paper. What what are the engineers that this is targeted? So any software engineer, obviously, because we're a software company, although we were sure to integrate some hardware partners, some of our semiconductor partners as well, to make sure we got a hardware perspective as well. But anybody who has any interest in TSN in general as an engineer is should read the paper and come to us, ask questions, however they see fit. So it's not meant for software engineer or hardware engineer. It's software engineer and hardware engineer, integrators, architect, anybody who has a need to interface with a TSN type of system wants to understand a little bit better how things fit. Yeah. Michelle, thank you very much for, for talking about this. This is a very interesting white paper. Check it out on militaryembedded.com, embeddedcomputing.com, and also windriver.com. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you.